what's up everybody my name's Tony and I have to lose weight and I wanted to give you an update here we are on the 8th of September 2023 and well I've uh, slipped back into an old habit but this is a good habit I think the quote is from Peter Drucker he's a business consultant management type guy and he said that what we don't measure we can't manage or we can't manage what we don't measure i can't remember exactly what the quote is but that's the concept that if we're not measuring then we're not effectively managing and so the best system i've ever had for managing my food intake is simply tracking my food and the most success i ever had tracking my food and equating that to losing weight was weight watchers and so well uh, check this out i'm on a streak an eight day streak to be exact i've been measuring everything that i eat and recording everything that i eat in the weight watchers app and it's resulted in some weight loss so look i, I tend to fall back into old habits and i figured let's do that again let's keep that cycle going except instead of falling into a bad habit let's fall into a good habit the most weight I ever lost at one time was 80 pounds and that was using weight watchers back in 2008 i did lose about 30 pounds earlier this year using weight watchers and so okay i'll use weight watchers again i was just editing the video and i realized it's raining here in florida it's one of those days but i realized i was just getting dripped on the whole time so uh don't be distracted by the drip pay attention to the dip or to me whatever all right, back to the video. I have kept up with the other habits I've been working on. I'm still drinking my 80 ounces of water a day. I'm doing intermittent fasting, not as hardcore as I was the first week, but I'm doing about a 12 hour fast, 12 hour on, 12 hour off. And I'm starting to see results in a couple ways. I feel like I've got some more non-scale victories than scale victories. I feel like my clothes are looser. I feel like my face is not as puffy. Now I'm gonna show you what I weighed this morning, but can we circle back around for a second to this conversation around the, the things that we don't measure, we can't manage. One of the things that I struggle with a little, I don't really struggle with it, but one of the things I rejected because I was somewhat burned out over it when I left corporate America was time management. I was so tired of keeping a schedule and, and making sure that I got everything done that I kind of, I've kind of rejected that, but I have a really strong skill set in time management. And uh, I think I'm coming around. I'm coming around to say, look, just because I'm effectively managing my time doesn't mean that I'm sold out to some sort of corporate master. And so I've got two big goals for the week coming up. First and foremost, I want to lay out what a day looks like for me on a schedule. I want to incorporate exercise. I want to incorporate reading. I want to incorporate prayer and meditation. I want to get that laid out and then I want to start working on that schedule, doing the same thing every day and getting those key habits in there. And I was just looking at my average steps on the phone for the first week in September. I don't think it's going to be hard to get more steps in than this. I'm averaging 3,000 518 steps a day and so uh yeah this will be my target when i talk to you next week to have a greater average for this week than last week but that's going to be the next iteration in this process putting some healthy habits in place and then sticking to them and then coming back and talking about the impacts of those so should be an interesting update next week quick update on what's happening with me officially medically uh, i'm on three medications i take my blood pressure pill i take the statin which is for cholesterol and I take something for a water pill to keep the swelling out of my legs. I've been taking those on their normal intervals. Fortunately, no side effects and hopefully whatever benefit they're giving me, they're giving me. I also went yesterday and got my thyroid scanned again, ultrasounded, and the thyroid technician was like, gee, that's big. And I'm like, yeah, it's big. So hopefully when I go back to my general doctor they'll be able to give me a referral to ear nose and throat and maybe we can get this thing taken care of and then on october the 4th i have an appointment with a cardiologist i feel pretty good i'm sleeping through the night i use a cpap i've got you know severe sleep apnea i guess that's another one of my diagnoses but yeah i'm sleeping through the night and i feel pretty rested i'm still a little low on the energy but i think maybe when i increase my exercise a little bit i think that might help my energy overall i'm doing pretty good now on to the scale when we last looked at my weight a couple of weeks ago it was 383.6 383.6 and then when i weighed this morning 381 pounds 
so down 2.6 pounds. I'm at the bottom end of the 380s and hopefully by next week I'll be in the 370s. Interestingly, when I put that number into the Weight Watchers app, I guess the lowest I'd gotten on Weight Watchers this year was down to 370, so I'm kind of chasing my best of the year already. Look, let's be honest, any of these numbers in the 300s are way out of whack, but uh, I gotta go through them to get into the 200s and really start making some more progress. How are you guys doing on your journey out there? Thank you guys for all of the positive support that you throw my way in the comments. I sure do appreciate it. I hope you guys are doing great. My name's Tony, I have to lose weight, and well, I'll see less of you, hopefully, on the next video and you'll see less of me. Yeah, that's, that should be, the, and uh, well, you'll see less of me on the next, I don't know what the tagline is, but either way, uh, yeah, Tony, bye.